Well, some changes to a main road in South Denver has some drivers pretty confused. The city restriped Monaco Parkway, adding a bike lane that stretches for two miles. But residents are having a hard time adjusting to the sudden change. Melissa Garcia is live on Monaco and Pontiac streets. Melissa, neighbors tell you they didn't even know that that change was happening. And Kathy, this is one of the few signs posted. We're standing right now where two lanes merge into one, and some of the drivers we saw out here today just weren't prepared for that change. A new bike lane along South Monaco is catching some drivers by surprise. When turning right here, it gets a little confusing as to if there's a biker or is it safe to take the right and turn here. Safety tops the list of worries on the new addition. The 2.3 mile stretch runs from Magnolia to Bellevue in the DTC on a major thoroughfare whose residents say they had little to say or warning. Had you heard anything? Did you know? No. I, I, I found out uh, driving out of my parking lot <laughs> with the crooked lines it makes it hard and so if you're a bicyclist it makes it dangerous if you're a driver it's a little bit scary you don't want to be hitting somebody but Southmore resident Aileen McCallum says the strip will not only make the parkway safer for bikers but also for drivers people are driving too fast on that street all the time her six-year-old son Caden and his little sister Colby ride their bikes almost every day they tried out the new lane for the first time Sunday there were still a few people driving pretty fast but honestly um, if drivers just drive 30 miles per hour, which is the speed limit, we felt really safe and comfortable. McCallum says the bike lane will help with better access to places people need to go. There's a pool, there's a park and a train station all along this stretch, and it leads right into a major work center, so it allows mobility options and a much safer street through our neighborhood. We left messages for the city today, but haven't yet heard back. Residents here say they're planning for a community meeting coming up in late October. We're live in Denver. Melissa Garcia covering Colorado First. Thank you, Melissa.